allegations by a Democratic politician from Nevada that he inappropriately touched and kissed her in 2014. We will be survivors. Through a spokesperson, Biden said, quote, neither then nor in the years since did he or the staff with him at the time had an inkling that Ms. Flores had been at any time uncomfortable. Just shut up and step up. Her account was published in New York Magazine's The Cut Friday. Certainly one allegation is not disqualifying. Important to note, NBC News has not independently verified her allegations with people she told contemporaneously. And NBC News has not yet seen correspondence she showed to the Daily Beast that gives credence to her claim. They, they wonder why survivors don't come forward. It's exactly for this reason, because they're treated so poorly. The then vice president grabbed her shoulders from behind, smelled her hair, and kissed the back of her head. There are dark elements that allow unconscionable levels of unacceptable levels of sexual assault and harassment that are affecting girls and boys and affecting men and women from uh, big media outlets to corporations to factory floors to servers and restaurants to our intimate spaces and homes and apartments all around this country. Former Vice President Joe Biden says he has no memory of an inappropriate encounter recently described by former Nevada politician Lucy Flores. <laughs> Lucy Flores says that Joe Biden, quote, leaned further in and inhaled her hair and proceeded to plant a big, slow kiss on the back of her head. We believe survivors. We believe survivors. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Kavanaugh has got to go. Biden's spokesperson responded in a statement saying Biden didn't know Flores was uncomfortable and he doesn't remember the incident. When it comes to talking about the need to protect and keep safe, and give dignity to survivors of crime. We know that we have to approach it in a way that understands the real stories. Flores says she didn't speak up at the time because on the campaign trail, there's no clear path for what to do when a powerful man crosses the line. The Me Too movement is real. It matters. It is needed. And it is long overdue. From former Vice President Biden, he says, in my many years on the campaign trail and in public life, I have offered countless handshakes, hugs, expressions of affection, support, and comfort, and not once, never, did I believe I acted inappropriately. It Me Too movement is real. It matters. It is needed. And it is long overdue. Certainly one allegation is not disqualifying.